Welcome back, my dear light folks, to another review of Black Clover. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light folk army. Let's get right into the review. So finally, Yami's backstory, you know, little story he was giving us is finally over two episodes in. And we're finally going to see who passed the Royal Knights election exam. Now, I'm really excited about the next arc, and I wasn't really a fan of the stuff Yami was talking about, but it was necessary for Asa because Yami's message to Asa was, look, no matter how many times you lose and stuff, never give up. No matter if your rival is stronger than you, don't give up. If you lose to your rival 99 times, there's a chance that one time you could win, and that's what matters. Because right now in the series, you know is stronger than Asa, but in the next arc, I believe that will change and either Asa will be stronger than Yuno or they will be both on par once again. So the backstory that Yami was giving, you know, with his past experience with William and stuff, his rival, which I never knew William was his rival until now, well, last week. And it was good. It was some good stuff, but um, I wasn't really too into it because they were just fighting bandits. They did fight some magic knights, but... I don't know. It was just like, okay. And that was back then when Yami and William were both vice captains. So they were not as strong. They, even though they were vice captains, they were not as strong as they are now. Um, even when they were first made into captains by Julius there in the beginning, they were not as strong as they are now, obviously, because they probably kept training and are way stronger right now. Now... They see the funniest thing I, when I was watching this episode on Crunchyroll, somebody commented. They said, oh, that's a really angry owl um, banging on that door. Like, and it was Mary Leona banging on the door of the Black Bulls. And then Magnus like, who, who is this? Like, don't they know this is the Black Bulls like hangout right here? And then the door just breaks down. So I don't know why Mary Leona is there. Um, is she the messenger owl or not? And if she is then that will be really interesting why they didn't actually send a messenger out. Or maybe um, things are urgent and they actually need the people that pass the Royal Knight Selection exam, like, ASAP. Like, it's no delays or stuff. Maybe that same day they're like, okay, you we're just heading out right now. So whatever the case may be, I am really happy to see Mary Leona back again. She is one of the best characters in the series for me personally. I really like her personality. It's like a fiery personality, excuse the pun, because, you know, Crimson Lion Kings and all that stuff. Um, and talking about the Crimson Lion Kings, talk, why one of the old members of the Crimson Lion Kings over here helping bandits and then the other one was from the Silver Eagles? Like, what are you guys doing? You're magic knights. Is your salary not enough? And one of them had like some ground, they used some ground thing, one that had creation magic, so the one with the creation magic was really cool, um, I did like the magic he was using against Yami, and then the guy with the ground type magic, I, 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 earth, whatever you call it, uh, magic, I don't really care about that magic too much, and I know, um, Souls, I believe her name is, um, the other, ca the captain of, I forgot the squad, but yeah, her sister, whatever, no, I think Souls herself is the one that uses ground magic. I'm not a fan of golems or anything like that. I'm like, okay, it's it's whatever. And we got to see the bandit again from the other episode. A few years past, this man does not learn. He escaped the first time. He came back with a staff from, he thinking he's from Harry Potter or something, talking about, okay, I'm back, I'm stronger with... with he's cheesing with the staff, creating dragons out of sand and stuff. I'm like, okay... Okay, until the staff broke and Yami kicked his butt. So that was really cool to see. Now, for the Royal Knight Selection exam, I am really excited to see who passed. Now, my predictions on who passed, I say Noel, Asta from the Black Bulls. Um, obviously, um, Sora, obviously Sora, let's see, Luck. Even though Luck lost, he did go head to head with a captain uh, of... He did get go to head to head with a captain of Aqua Deer, so I say luck. Did Magna pass? Magna did improve. I say Magna. It doesn't even matter if they lost, like because the Wizard King said I think fifty participants will pass, and some other people from other squads. I really want Charmy to pass because she's funny. She's like the comedic factor to the series. Like something could be really tense and serious, and then Charmy is there, and it just makes it you know happier, happier mood. Like even if something's really dark. So I want her to pass. 
I say Uno Pass, Mimosa, Claws, and all that stuff. So yeah, I think a lot of people pass. I cannot wait to see though uh, the next arc because people have been talking about the next arc like it's crazy light, like a lot of craziness happened. So I'm really excited about that. I also wanted to talk about the ancient, ma ancient magic items. I definitely do want to see more of that and actually deadlier ones used in the future, hopefully. I don't know if in the Eye of the Midnight Sun any of them have an ancient magic item, and if they don't, fine. But I think that's really intriguing because the ones we got to see were not really that strong. They, they were like, okay, they amplify magic, they, you could do more stuff for them, but, you know, we didn't get to see that big jar. What, what does it do? Like, does it just form a Philosopher's Stone? That was a full Metal Alchemist reference, or whatever it is. But yeah, this episode of Black Clover... Um, for the most, most part, it was just with the Yami stuff and William stuff where they both became captains at the same time. And, you know, William's goal is probably going to be the Wizard King, so Yami's goal might be the same. He doesn't want to lose to William, so that's going to be an interesting thing, how that happens. And I don't see a Wizard King being around for a long time, like a new one, because Julius is... Julius is not that old, but he's not young, but he, I think he'll be around for a while. So overall, I'm going to give this episode a 7.5 out of 10. I cannot wait to see the next arc, and I hope you enjoy this review. Peace.